CDC sign off involves identifying issues related to metastability, correlation loss, and glitch propagation on clock domain crossings. I will talk about two key elements for advanced CDC sign off. So the first one is glitch analysis. Recently, we have seen a lot of cases where basically RTL level sign off is complete, but at gate level, you can start seeing glitch issues because synthesis or optimized tool might have optimized differently. And this has become a major challenge. Now, look at this example. At RTL level, output follows the input, so MUX is behaving correctly. While at netlist level, synthesis or optimization tool can modify the MUX to AND or gates, and this functionality issue can cause glitch problems, which is catastrophic. There are two methods to avoid these kind of silicon issues. First, at RTL level, do a CDC sign off and identify the MUXs and mark them, do not touch in your CDC, uh, synthesis and optimization flows. And second method is do a netlist level CDC sign off with the glitch rules turned on. The second aspect is dynamic CDC verification. Designers frequently add synchronizers to prevent metastability in their design. But these synchronizers can cause correlation loss at the fan out when they converge. So static CDC sign off must be combined with dynamic CDC verification to ensure there is no correlation loss to protect synchronizers against metastability stress and signal path delay skew errors. The way to do that is to run dynamic CDC verification and avoid silicon issues. A complete CDC sign-off approach must include all these methods.